Miss Southerners and the world are remembering the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. Not just for her music, but her other contributions as well. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Franklin was born in South Memphis, only to become an award-winning artist who sang for three presidents. And she inspired, well, a long list of musicians. In fact, she did. Local 24's Mary Jo Ola has tonight's top story. She's live outside Stax Museum in South Memphis, which is honoring her with a special marquee tonight. Mary Jo? Yeah, Richard, that marquee tonight says, In Loving Memory, Aretha Franklin. And it's just one of many tributes we've seen today. Everyone loved Aretha Franklin. That's the message from people I met around the community today. And while her talent took her to the top of the music charts, she was also a voice for the civil rights movement. Oh, Lord, I feel all right tonight. Her yeah. music was deep. Deep down, came from deep down out of her soul. She was iconic. Melvin Jones worked in Memphis and across the country as a radio DJ and a program director. We sat at the same table with Aretha Franklin at a music conference back in the 1970s in Atlanta. He remembers the times he met and interviewed the one and only Aretha Franklin. She loved life. She was humble and I think she was aware of who she was, her place in the industry, but uh, she was also gracious and humble and just full of fun. But she could be a little stern too now if you, if you rubbed her wrong. <laughs> Franklin was born in South Memphis. She was one of the notable artists who stayed at the Lorraine Motel. Franklin was more than her music. Her songs also helped inspire the civil rights movement. I'm the SBCT. In the 70s, she really had a song that became the anthem of the movement. I mean, she was very involved in that whole uh, black pride piece and that young, gifted, and black. Um, and, and as an inspiration to young people. Her LPs even appear in the National Civil Rights Museum's Black Pride exhibit. She actually started focusing on young black men and encouraging them to finish school, encouraging them to go to college. She was special to America and special to the culture. Now, less than two miles from where I'm standing is the house where Aretha Franklin was born. That's over on Lucy Street. She lived there until she was two years old, and today, many years later, people spent the day stopping by to pay their respects to the Queen of Soul. Reporting live in South Memphis, Mary Jaola, Local 24 News.